President Obama and the First Lady donated $15,000 to the Clinton Bush Haiti Fund to help earthquake victims in the Caribbean country. What is your reaction to this donation? Um, I think it's imperative that everyone gives what they can, and I know they've really focused a lot of their energies on uh, helping the people out down there. And uh, it's a tremendous start. If everyone else followed that lead, we'd be a little bit better off. I think it could have been a lot more money uh, due to the extensive devastation. I think it's great. I think that. You know, the president and the first lady stand and represent our country in its entirety. And it's great that they've, you know, stepped up to give support to a country that's ailing and that's in need. The U.S. plans to send more troops into Haiti, bringing the total number of U.S. service members in the country to 16,000. Are you satisfied with how the U.S. has responded to this disaster? Um, speaking personally, no. Um, I think it sends a bad PR message when it's uh, soldiers with weapons on the ground. Oh yeah, I'm very satisfied with it. You know, they should uh, they should bring more if you ask me, because it's total chaos down there. They should have did it a long time ago before this, because they don't have no infrastructure. I think they've responded to it a lot better than they did to New Orleans. Um, yeah, I'm satisfied with the response. No, not necessarily. I think they should have sent more troops down there and secured that country. Um, I don't think it's an occupation. I think it's a, uh, you know, a situation that couldn't have been, you know, thought of. What role should the U.S. play in Haiti's rebuilding process? Well, I think we should offer them what they need, but I think we should act as um, an ambassador with all the rest of the countries around the world so that everybody pitches in collectively. I think that where we can, uh, we're a strong enough nation that we should help, but we need to be careful not to let our own country down. So one of the things they need is good governance. And once they have that, foreign investment and develop the infrastructure, I think they need that more than uh, us sending troops. We've got our own problems here, but this problem will come back on us if we do not do something about it.